Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime, answered the question that all football fans everywhere wanted the answer to, especially myself. Being a Dallas Cowboys fan, I want to know, is Deion Sanders going to be a potential coach for my team one day? And he answered that question. He answered if he would go to the NFL after Shador uh, declared for the NFL draft, would he be willing to go coach in the NFL for wherever Shador went to be a player for? And he said something that might surprise you guys, and we don't know if he was being honest, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what he had to say. Check this out right here. This is Coach Prime, a.k.a. Deion Sanders, a.k.a. whatever you want to call him. Check it out. Hey, son. Yeah, and my kids, man, they've been there every bit of the way, and most people ask me, what you going to do when they out? You know, y'all going to pros together? I say, you know what? A real father leads his sons. Right. He don't follow them. Mm-hmm. So I'm good. I'll be him. Mm -hmm. I ain't going nowhere. I'm straight. I love Boulder, Colorado, and I cannot wait to be going to the NFL and do their thing. But I'm not following my kids nowhere. Mm -hmm. I lead my kids places. <sighs> Five, ten years from now, yeah. where do you see the family? The kids are being pros, and I'll be here. Mm. And you see the mountains behind us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll see my head up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> With or without the beard? Hey, oh, without the beard. I'm going to look young. <laughs> I'm going to look young. Believe that. I'm going to look young. Look young. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love it, man. I'm, I'm going to be up there. Yeah. Okay, so there you guys have it. Now, my opinion. I don't know that Deion Sanders knows what he's going to be doing in five to 10 years. You know, if you would have asked him five to 10 years ago where he would be, he probably would have said, I'm going to be at Jackson State coaching these guys. You know, I do know that he has a commitment to being a leader of men, young men specifically. So I know he wants to continue to do that. And I don't know that the NFL gives him that opportunity. I think the NFL is more of a grown man's league, you know, than it is a young man's league. And I think that um, especially when players are getting paid, the way they're getting paid in the NFL. Now, they're getting paid in college as well, too, now. But the way they're getting paid in the NFL, the perks that they get, they're not student athletes. You can't talk to them the same. You can't treat them the same. Um, I don't know that Deion Sanders wants to deal with that type of environment as a coach. Now, when they're in college, you can kind of mold them into men. You know, they're young men. They're 18, 19, 20, 21. You can kind of mold them and talk to them a certain way and teach them things. When guys get 31, 33, they got wife, they got kids, you know, they don't want to be talked to like they're a college student. So I don't know if Dion wants to deal with that. Um, but I do think he's a great leader of men. I think he would be successful anywhere that he went. I just think that he's being honest for the moment right now because there's no opportunity in front of him that's presenting itself like this is a better opportunity than what he's getting at Colorado. So do I think that things can't change? No, I think things can change. And he could say, you know, five years from now, he could say, you know, I want that opportunity in the NFL. But right now, he probably can't see further than what he's doing because this is what matters to him right now. So I don't think he's lying. I think he's being honest. But I don't know that that stays consistent for five to ten years. Uh, what he's thinking right now. So that's all I got for you guys. Urban Legend 11, as you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here.